12.30. It's pretty late. I got these tools done today. And this saw came in the mail and so did this one right here. I was disappointed to see that this handle is the same as I got a couple years back, that big old square blocky feel to it. Most of the kit saws and the G372 were coming with these handles, which are pretty nice. I like those. I don't know why they went back to that. But we're going to give that saw a run. Who knows, it might run great. But this saw has turned out to be a great saw right here. And the G372 we got a while back has turned into a pretty mature saw. It also has this better handle, the G372 does. So I have no idea why they went to that. What do you think, Cat? Why did they do that? This, this one here is the 036 based saw. If you remember and if you remember the kit saw had a kind of a goofy air filter, look what they've done. That's a huge, huge improvement. I guess that runs quite a bit better than the 036 kit does. Had high hopes for that one, but it's a little bit of a disappointment on the unboxing. But of course you never really know until you run them. Could be just fine. But I also noticed the top cover is not quite as solid as the top cover on the kit saw or the G372. So, looks like that came from a different vendor. That'd be my guess. Got this one back in for checkup. Says it will start, but it won't keep running. So, I think I better see if I can blow that filter out and... Well, one of the reasons why it's probably not getting fuel is the fuel line's off the carburetor. still run pretty good.
Want to switch and do this one next? Yep. I just uh, leaned that one out a little bit. I turned that one up and leaned it out too. So it's probably running sharper than it was. Okay. I'll move a few logs and we'll do this one next. All right. Now this one right here, the one he was just running, number three, you can see it's got the highway muffler and it's got a highway top end on it. And it was running pretty good. I leaned it out some because I had them all set kind of rich and that probably wasn't the best thing because he kind of likes them crisp. And that ran good. I was pretty pleased with the way that was going. I think he was as well. How's that compared to the other one? Well, the chain on this one's dollar. Yeah. But they're both running pretty good. I mean, it just cuts better because of the chain.
before the log starts to fold, I pull back a little and come down like this. Sometimes we'll go completely through, but at least come down like this. We're, I'm trying not to pull mud through the cut. Oh, I see. Um, so if you come down and you stay in and you come out the bottom, then when you go up and again, you're, you're on clean wood. If, if you just come down part way and then come up like this on these very muddy logs, yeah. you're running your chain into mud. I got you. So that's why you're doing it. You're yes. Basically, you're you're making your cut and you're coming down and cutting out the bottom. Yes. To knock the mud out. So you're not cutting the mud. Not pulling the mud through. And you still your chain still gets dull because of the bad mud, but not near as bad as if you're cutting into the mud. That's gold. I didn't know. Absolutely. Because if there's little rocks or something, if you're cutting into the mud, you're cutting through them. Yeah. If you're if you do it this way and get the bottom cut out and then you're you push it through, at least you're kicking the rocks out. I see what you're saying. You're not pulling them through. Okay. Got it. Those Chinese saw, the one Chinese saw, the, the number three, uh, that's not too far off of OEM. It really is. And I want to see how long it lasts. The other one is as Chinese as it gets. For me, just having it, paying the extra money and having complete the uh, complete authentic feel of an authentic customana is worth it for me. Yeah. This was an interesting evening and the general consensus is this is that the the Chinese saws are are good and all that but for the pro you really need to have OEM although there's no specific reason 
you know, we haven't had any failures or anything. It has more to do with the, just the feel. And uh, that's where he kind of comes down on it. And he still likes his 390s. We're not going to be able to peel the 390s away with the, with the Chinese aftermarket saws. That's, that's a fact. But anyway, I hope I have enough. He's going to go for another half hour. hour. He, he, this guy never stops. He's got to finish all those logs before he gives up.